Hello everybody, my name is Ahmed Kapu and today we are going to review the famous G4S controller from GameSir. YouTube is full of reviews about this controller and that's a sign for one thing and that is GameSir is so confident when it comes to their products. So let's see if the hype around the G4S is worth it and real. Well, let's first unbox it. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the presentation. The box is made from hard plastic and is rigid enough to protect the controller from chipping damage. Diving inside, we found the controller itself, the user manual and the micro USB cable. The GameSir G4S features a design similar to that of an Xbox 360 controller. So if you've been an Xbox 360 owner, you'll be pleased with the body, body texture and the grip of the controller. The analog handle is really smooth and accurate with R3 plus L3 support. The D-pad feels great as well, but when it comes to the buttons and the L1 plus 2 and R1 plus 2 keys, they feel a little generic. Other than that, the smartphone holding clip design on the G4S is really great. You can just flip the clip like that and put your smartphone and bam, you're ready to play. And when you're done, just fold the clip back and the gamepad's back in its original form. I really like how there's no external attachments or adjustments needed to be done with the GameSir G4S if you want to use it with the mobile or PC anytime. Now, let's check the connectivity options of the G4S and this is the compartment that makes it stand from the crowd. The G4S is both compatible with the Android smartphones, the PC back there, and the PS3 if you're still using one on 2017. Connecting it takes seconds for both smartphones and PC. I should also upload the brilliance of GameSir by putting the Bluetooth USB dongle directly inside the controller and this adds to the overall portability of it and the ease of use. To be honest with you, I'm not into neither mobile or PC gaming for the moment because I'm basically a console gamer. But I enjoyed my time using this bad boy on my Galaxy S5 playing racing, sport and FPS games. And being an Xbox 360 player for more than 5 years made me adore the experience even more. And the grip makes it even comfier than the Xbox 360 controller. Just a brilliant job when it comes to comfort. You can also control the brightness of the LEDs or turn them off completely. GameSir claims a battery life of around 16 hours and during my test the claim stands correct. To sum up, I can think you'll find a better option for mobile gaming if you're really into it. The G4S offers you a variety of functionalities, it's well built, so comfortable and so versatile. Now coming down to the price, the G4S costs about $49.99 which is in my opinion is a great price point. If we compare it against the Xbox One controller along with the wireless adapter, that setup can cost you somewhere around $16 plus dollars. And you won't even get the mobile connectivity feature along with that. So concluding the review, I would like to say that I'm very pleased with the GameSir G4S and would recommend it to any Anyone. That's why it deserves my damn good word. Anyways, this was the review of the GameSir G4S controller. If you liked it, please leave a like and comment down below your opinion about the G4S and about the video overall. Thank you so much guys and see you guys in the next video. See ya!